Oh, it's working today. Okay, so we will get going, guys. I'm also going to record. We'll start a minute or two early today. Record on this computer, and um, should be good to go. Today. Yep. All right. Good. It's that weird delay here with our YouTube uh, uh, setting up. So just fast forward a few minutes if you're watching a replay. Um, so Annalisa, um, I don't know if you saw in the group, I posted this video that I created today. I did. It's bananas. I love it. It's a great video. All right. So, well, I mean, I can't, I have to, you know, I have to use good words. <laughs> yeah. So the thinking here, you know, we've talked a little bit about video ads in the past here and there uh, in the next level members area. Um, here's the video. Um, but what I was thinking was uh, how I, I feel like I personally haven't cracked the code with YouTube video ads. I have definitely figured out how to do them for retargeting um, and, and get some benefit and, and know that works. But YouTube video ads that directly generate a lead um, has been a little bit elusive. Um, and you know, part of the issue there is just creating a video that works. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very dependent on your creative. So I'll start by saying that I don't know for sure whether this will work or not, but I think in the process of getting this live that there's some good stuff here to, to talk about for all of us. So um, I'll play the video really quick for context. I'll just play it straight out of the Facebook group here. So here we go. Thinking that the local real estate, if you're thinking that the local real estate market might be in a bubble and you might want to sell your house for top dollar, before the bubble pops, then click the link near this video to explore your options now. So I actually did add some dramatic music to it and the version that we'll be um, using today to run our ad just to make it a little more interesting. Um, the but cadence was so slow, Ryan, you okay? I'm trying, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it was great. So, so the first thing I wanna share with you guys is this kind of how to make this this kind of quick video because technically I know it doesn't look super fancy but technically it, it's clean and, and there's not a there's not a lot to it um it, it's not over uh not high production value but the point is that we're just trying to do something short that gets somebody to click and the other thing with YouTube ads is you do want to grab attention early on um this kind of I don't know what the term would be this kind of bind it says if you're thinking that is a little bit suggestive um, and it's talking to you, to them, and kind of making the person kind of perk up and say, what am I thinking? Um, mm -hmm. so I'm sure of the housing bubble that I kind of ganked. Um, and what I'm trying to do is join the conversation in their mind. I forget which copywriter, famous copywriter talked about that, maybe John Caples or somebody, but, uh, you know, might be in a bubble. So we're, we're basically, we know that the news is reporting like crazy, that real estate is in a bubble. Um, and the angle we're trying to go for here is they say, yeah, you know what? Um, I might want to sell my house before the bubble pops. The, the hope is that before they watch this video, they weren't actually thinking about the threat that they will lose the opportunity to sell their house for top dollar. Now, of course, we have no idea whether the bubble is going to pop this year or ever, you know, but um, the idea with the ad is just to appeal to the people who might be thinking this way to generate a listing lead. So whether you believe it's going to pop or not, um, the ad can still be effective. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So the actual video, so I'm going to share a few things with you guys. First, let's look at uh, Google Drive where I created this. So I just opened up, here it is. I just opened up Google Drive and I did a file new presentation. So I just used the slideshow. Um, I picked over to the right when you click new presentation. Let's open a new window and show you guys. I picked the black template here. There's a few different slide variations you can pick if you just want it to look a little smooth. Um, a lot of times I just pick the white one, but I figured the black might be cool to do. And then the text is just, you know, very simple, insert text box. Just use the Arial, made it a little big. And on each slide, I just put part of the sentence. And in the first few slides, I used this image of a housing bubble. So you can do this, just use a plain image. And then to kind of hold their attention and make it a little more interesting, I try to find animated GIFs. So I found this animated bubble pop. Um, the way that you can search for that is you can go to images.google.com. I'll type in bubble pop. And then if you go to tools and type, you can do GIF 
I think there's actually an option for animated. If you see right up here, kind of in the middle and these mm -hmm. tiles, you see the animated option too. I don't know if that's the same or different than GIF. So I just grabbed one of these. Um, that's where I found that. So there it is in the middle, the one that I found. So, so the next thing I did, this is a little bit of a, a hack that I'll share with you for using these. You can right click and then copy the image address like so. I'm going to go here and make a new slide. I love how easy this is. Yeah. So what I did was I, I, you can't just paste the image. So if I, if I right click and then paste the image, it won't be animated. This is just a little nuance of this. But if you click insert image and you do it by the URL, mm -hmm. it will insert it into the slide. And then to keep it kind of the same as you scroll through, you'll notice as I scroll up and down here, right? It looks the same. It, it, the animation just continues through. I, I thought this was a really cool. The cool slides did it this way. Um, in order to do that, as you make each slide, you just click on the last slide and you click duplicate slide. And that'll pretty much keep it in the same exact spot it was in in the previous video slide. And do that. I know we're getting a little in the weeds here, Annalisa, but I, ju I just- I don't know. It's the fundamentals of formatting. So it's not really weeds, it's part of the process. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so for free, no no money spent. Yeah. Um, I spent, uh, you know, I'm a, I've done this a few times, but this took me about 10 minutes to make front to back. Um, and the mm -hmm. recording took me 30 more seconds, you know, however long it is, 45 seconds. Um, now the actual recording, so once you've got it done, um, the actual recording, I used our trusty friend Screencast-O-Matic. So I just clicked my record button on that, on that little application. You guys can check that out. I just pulled my frame here. I hit the record button. And then as you read, you click over on the left side here and you read and you say, if you're thinking that, and then you tab down the local real estate market might be in a bubble and you might want to sell your house for top dollar before the bubble pops, click the link near this video. So it's not, not too hard to do in a short one like this. Maybe you don't do it on the first take, but it's pretty easy to do it and not screw up, especially if you're keeping each phrase really short. Mm -hmm. Short and sweet, like a haiku. Yeah. And you said I did it slow. It was because I was purposeful. Yeah, well, it was because they were so short. I was going to the next slide and then reading the next thing. So mm -hmm. if I tried to read it too fast, my brain would have blown up and gotten a little confused. Um, so what's it done here? And then I'll just share with you guys in screencast matic just a little tip. So I had that going here. Um, I realized after that I wanted to add this sell your house before the bubble pops and I didn't have it in my slides. So I just clicked edit tools and then added the text. So, you know, it makes it very easy to do. And I just dragged it where I wanted it. Um, and then the music. So let, I do have music in it. So before you get to the music, so basically what you did is like the first step was identifying the niche, which is the bubble. Mm -hmm. The second step was identifying your and creating your slides in Google present. Yeah. Okay. So this could be Google present. It could be PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. And then you opened up Screencast-O-Matic and played your slide deck and then recorded over that. Is that right? Yep. I used the down okay. arrow to tab okay. between the- Perfect. Um, yeah. Great. Okay. So, um, and now, now what I did, I did some real light editing. I added some music and Screencast-O-Matic has this music built in that I've been loving. Great. With. Yeah. So they have all these different options. So I picked that one because it's like threatening, like the bubble's going to burst. Whoa. Picture this, if you will. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. You could do a movie. Uh, I mean, thank you. Should do voiceovers. I know. Yeah. So we got we got to go in there. Um, the last thing, I'm not sure that I do it or not. I, yes, I did. I uploaded it to YouTube. So I am going to copy that link. So you can upload straight to YouTube from Screencast-O-Matic. Most of these platforms will let you do that now. So I just clicked on it um, and I clicked upload to YouTube and then just had my you know, my account synced up. Um, I made it unlisted, so not everybody would see it. That's up to you. Um, and then I'll need the link to the YouTube video in order to run my ad in a minute. So let me just, I kind of put that somewhere. 
Yeah. Any questions so far, Annalisa? Hopefully this is useful for everybody. Any feedback uh, you guys want to give? I haven't seen anything come through yet. Let me double check there. Mike's just saying, hey, how did you find the animated GIF? And I think we just kind of covered that. The easiest way to do that, Mike, is to jump into your Google image search. And you can put in bubble pop or animated GIF bubble pop. And you'll find them really easily. And then uh, you right click on it. I love that. <laughs> yeah, and then you grab the URL for the image and then you insert it into the uh, Google Google Present. You do insert image by, your, by URL. URL, yep. So again, not super high production value, but because it has some moving things, I did the same thing with the moving arrow, by the way. Yeah. Here. Um, because it has some animation, it seems, maybe a little more polished than it is. It's not really polished at all. Oh, you know, this is a simple image that I just found. Um, so, so that's that. We've got our creative done for the ad. Now, the next thing that I'm going to need to do is knowing that I'm running an ad, I need to drive the traffic somewhere. And in this example, I think I'm going to use a KV Core address only page to capture the lead. And we're going to try to make the page pick up where the ad, uh, video ad left off. So we wanted to kind of have that scent trail that it's very similar. And we're gonna do that now. I didn't, I didn't do this beforehand. So um, we're gonna jump into KV Core. We'll go to lead engine, we'll hover over that and click build landing page. And then I'm gonna choose this address capture. Mm -hmm. The second one from the bottom. I say that's probably the, 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 the top one, the lead gen one and the address capture are my two favorites. Yep. And this one, I'm going to do home value request. Now, this address capture, what it does is it actually walks people through getting them the home value, you know, that estimated home value. So just so you, you kind of kind of got to craft a language here accordingly. So what I'm going to do is um, sell, sell your house for the bubble. Oops. Step one. Step one request a free free report free detailed report let's get detailed or that shows what your property now by the way that video guys um i intentionally it's not specific to my location or anything so i will be uploaded uh tomorrow morning to the next level members area so you guys can download it and use it and edit it however you want i'll get the slides in there too if you want to adjust it um but uh that the reason i thought of that was because i'm realizing here i don't have a location in here to make it specific so i could do you now it's county house before the bubble pops um, we'll get rid of these bullets um i think it would be kind of cool i think to use the bubble popping image mm -hmm. All right so let's do that and you can put that as a background which is awesome yeah, let's see. Um, I may need to just go back here. Bubble top. I gotta go find it again. Um, oops. Animated. It was this one. I'll copy image address right here. And now, as Annalisa said, we can do background. See, I'm clicking mm -hmm. up the top right, and then I'll use a custom background. So this should work. Oh, didn't Did work. It end? What's the file end in? Yeah, sometimes if you do it straight off of Google like this, sometimes you have to go to the, the actual page it was on. This isn't the nicest thing to do. It works. Oh, actually, yeah, it's not. It yeah, it's not. Slides. What about the one under it? Yeah. I, I have a hack. I could turn this into a GIF myself. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Copy and say, back. generally speaking, this will work on um, the majority of these. Just sometimes the uh, the type of file it is won't allow us to link it in as a background on a landing page. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how far down the weeds I want to go here. Because mm. um, I could, I downloaded it as a GIF, and I could upload it to a blog post. Yeah. URL. Yeah, let's do it. It's a little hack, guys. I think you you might have seen us talk about this before. Where's my blog post? Are you in the right account? I thought I was. Let's see. You're in Delia's, I think. Oh, maybe I'm in an admin account. Well, I'm just trying to. I don't know. Post. I don't know. 
oh, that's going to be in Web and IDX content. Okay. Talk to, uh, talk to the guys yet about this? <laughs> I have. Good. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, let's see. I, I want to show you guys this. Uh, hopefully it works this time. Uh, blog posts. There we go. Ad posts. I think maybe because I was an admin. I don't know. But you can use the image uploader here, the upload. And post it, but it doesn't have to be online, right? Yeah, right. So we're going a little down the rabbit hole. I thought that was a, can I just drag it out of my browser? I could. Mm -hmm. And now it says source. It gives me this image. This kind of forced inside real estate KV core to host it. But we're not going to publish the blog post at all. Just kind of generate us an image after it uploaded it. So just a little trick there. And now let's try. Hopefully it works this time. Where there's a will, there's a way. There we, we go. It's a little big and ugly, but we'll leave it. So, okay. So step one, request a free detailed report. And then it's we like a Missy Elliott for like 1998. <laughs> yeah. Bling, bling. All right. So let's see. So I'm going to drag this. I save it in my landing pages folder down here. Um, so I have the URL. And then just to, as a reminder, this is the flow, guys. I'll just put my address in there. It'll, it'll, once the person puts the address in, it'll redirect through. In theory, it's spinning. I promise it will eventually. There we go. And then it'll give, oh, it was giving the report. I was already logged in as Mickey Mouse from one of my right. tests. But it would, it, it asked for the, the name and the email. So you get the contact info. That's the, the main point there. And then they can get that access and your lead is generated. So um, here, I'll put there. Okay, so now we've got kind of the pieces that we need. Um, we're gonna go back later and maybe just configure some automated follow-up on that. But let's let's do that actually now. This is probably the proper order the to order do this. of things. <laughs> yeah, we kind of do it backwards usually, don't we? We kind of run yeah. there and then we go back and do the follow-up. Um, but uh, so, and this isn't that involved here. I'm going to show you the stuff we already have built for this hashtag. And that's what's also kind of cool. You know, I have this home value request mm -hmm. hashtag that's been coming in. I've used it for a bunch of different seller leads. And really, I don't need to do much today because I've already created that stuff. I'm just using the same hashtag that I've used in the past. But just to give you guys uh, insight, I can go into my smart campaign here. I'm just going to show you the one that we have built for the home value request. Uh, so I think it was, I think it was this one possibly. It's not too important, but you can see off to the right where it says campaign settings, we've created a campaign. And whenever the home value report tag is added, it will trigger this and it'll create a task for the agent to prepare the home value report. It'll do an initial email reply. That email is, thanks for checking the value of the property online just now. My team will get ready, uh, putting, we'll, we'll work to put together a more human generated report. In the meantime, on a scale from one to 10, what condition would you say the property is in? So they came in off this bubble pop idea, but we're just running them through as if they're a regular seller lead because it, they kind of are. If we wanted to get a little more specific, we could have a separate campaign for the hashtag bubble pop and, and do a video and everything else if we wanted to. Um, the, we have uh, a zap going out that will send a thank you note card through we've done some webinars about that through thanks.io and then there's just another task um, to set up alerts for the agent and this basically means once you see the address come in set that seller up that homeowner up to receive any new listings in their neighborhood using the automated alerts functionality and that can be found under marketing all marketing and search alerts um, I'll kind of reference, we've, we've run through this a lot lately. We did a growth system webinar at insiderealestate.com slash webinars uh, about two weeks ago now. That would be like the last week of May, 2021. If you're watching this replay later, you can look through that. And we kind of went through all of these different follow-up options in detail there. Um, and it's also in the next little members area. So, um, so it's, it's kind of set up. If the lead comes in, I'll get notified. There'll be an automated email uh, that goes out and there'll be some tasking triggered in KV Core that tells me to make sure I set up property alerts. So very basic follow-up. Okay, now we get to the fun stuff. So 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the YouTube ad. And in order to run a YouTube ad, we do need our Google ads account, google.com slash ads or ads.google.com. I'll sign on in here to this account. Okay. And uh, at this point, let's we'll pause a second. You know, the open house stuff we did last week has been working pretty good. Um, I oh, did a webinar. awesome. Yeah, I did a webinar in a group. We had a, I saw we had a nice couple off the Facebook ad, nice couple of replies, some conversations. The Google ad I haven't looked at, pretty interesting actually. This is actually coming in a little more expensive than our other campaigns. So I may need to go and optimize the keywords a little more, mm -hmm. um, give it a little more time. Sometimes it's just time. <laughs> We might also be competing against ourselves and these other ads are beating us because we're, we're going after the same keywords, but quit hitting yeah. yourself. Yeah. Quit hitting. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be the landing page too. Um, so just, you know, it's cool. Once you have a few campaigns going, you kind of have a baseline, you know, Hey, 16 feels a little high. Uh, it's still only a week old. So I'll let it go another week or two and then go in and see if the numbers have come down just to give Google time to optimize. So um, that webinar is in the archives as well. If you want to check that out, everybody. Okay, so now we're in Google, we're going to run our video ad. So I'm going to click plus on the campaigns here, new campaign. And I'm just going to do choose leads. And then the option we're going to choose is video. We usually choose search, but we're going to choose video. Continue. And we'll call this um, bubble pops. Seller leads. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I will leave it as maximize conversions. So Google's going to try to generate us a conversion. You do need the Google conversions snippet installed. Uh, we've done this many times. There's basic training on this inside of Core Next Level members area. It's just before you start running Google Ads, you do want to make sure you have your pixel, your global snippet and your conversion pixel installed in KV Core. I know it's going to be found up here under tools. But let's focus on just getting a video ad run for content today. Uh, my daily budget, I'll just do 10 bucks. And then my location, I am going to want to choose the local location here. It somehow knew to just choose it for me. So that was cool. Just chose my county. Um, I'm going to choose standard, create skippable in-stream ads. I don't think the response, responsive probably would have been fine. Google's adding this responsive stuff and I, I would, we'd probably be okay choosing that, but I'll just choose the standard there. And then we can get a little bit into demographics uh, with Google, a little bit. I don't know, they, they are doing some stuff around real estate, but I think I may be able to choose by age. Um, so let's try, because I do want to go after homeowners. So I'm just going to go 35 up to... Um, 54. Try that out. And then finally, um, just know you can get a little crazy. You can do like play, you can do audiences, for example, here. And if I choose interests, I think I can choose real estate like so. So I will, I'll do that. So I've chosen real estate and people in this age range. Um, now, if you don't get a lot of traffic, it could mean that you've confused the algorithm by choosing too many. I've had that happen before, but you know, so we've chosen an um, in-market real estate audience. These are people who Google thinks are looking for real estate, mostly probably because they visited sites like Zillow or realtor.com. Um, so the algorithm knows that they're looking for real estate. That's an option. I don't know. Um, maybe that's not as relevant here. I'm kind of thinking myself in circles because we're just going after any homeowner. <laughs> they don't have to be searching for a house, but just know that that option is there, guys, and I am going to uncheck it. Well, um, I mean, you're used to niching down with everything we've done, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so uh, just know that that's an option. I'm just going to keep it to all people who live in the market for now. Um, but if you were doing a buyer-focused ad, that would be more useful than what I, what I was just talking about. Okay, so now we're going to create the video for our ad. Now, we've already done that and uploaded it. So in my other window here, my notepad, I've saved my YouTube URL. Um, and these video ads become really easy to make because you don't have to really think about ad copy or anything because the, the copy is the video. So that's the video. I may take a minute to change the thumbnail of the video. I'm not sure how important or unimportant that is because I think YouTube auto plays them anyway. Um, but just so you know, you know this, these are those ads that people have to click skip before they can watch whatever they were trying to watch. 
Um, and then my final URL, that is simply, I had it saved over here under landing pages. I just have to go to it again. Here's our landing page. Okay. And then our display URL will just be the main domain. You don't have to do the whole thing. So forever large real estate. And then the call the the call to action is really tricky. They don't give you a lot of space here. Um, and I noticed because I ran it off of Inside Real Estate's channel, it's saying <laughs> Inside Real Estate is the advertiser. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I'll have to pause this and go back and upload the video to the, the company. But, um, you know, just keep an eye on that. You do want to upload it to your own YouTube channel. So you don't want, you guys wouldn't want to use the link that I'm using here. You know, you want to kind of upload the video yourself um, from right. the download. Okay, so uh, the call to action um, sell before pop. <laughs> I don't know. So there's no room. Uh, learn more, something like that. Hmm. Something like that. I, I have a little hard time thinking on the fly and it is hard with that amount of characters. So sell your house. Very limited. Learn more. Sell it now. Something like that. That's interesting. Okay. And then uh, that's it. Then we just create the campaign. And just like that, uh, people who live inside of the market will see our ad. Now I am getting a doesn't meet editorial guidelines. The domains of the display URL, final URL. Oh, it must be the same. So the issue, the, what they're taking exception to, it's not a big deal, is that my URL that I'm sending traffic to doesn't have .com on it. Is that what it is? Or they might want the full subdomain. Let me try it again. Because I forgot the .com. It worked. I just mm -hmm. didn't have the .com on there. So it does allow if, if one of them is the subdomain, you know, the Daily Davidson in that case, they do allow that. So oh, good. that was just human error. That was my part, my fault. Okay. So we're good. Now, anybody cruising YouTube will see hear my annoying voice, um, as my kids say, when they're cruising YouTube and then my ads pop up. Um, <laughs> that happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, my, my ads. Have you been seeing the one on Facebook? I've been getting in a lot of trouble for that one. There's there's one running. And I apologize to all of you if it's- Oh, it, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just, th I just laugh and think it works. I mean, it's it works and I just move on, you know? Yeah, there's one running. Uh, if you've ever been interrupted on Facebook, um, I need to fix this. It's, it's playing in the middle of, other videos on Facebook and, uh, and I've been getting in trouble. Oh, like for the ad breaks when they do like a five yeah. minute video or something. Yeah. yeah but it's it is much. what it is. That's Facebook policy. You uh, don't decide cool. where to put it. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's retargeting. You know? Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so that's that, that's our, um, YouTube ad pretty cool. Right. So we've got a fresh, basically anybody watching YouTube in our market, can see this offer to sell our house before the bubble pops. Whether or not it's going to resonate, what the lead is going to cost, all that is yet to be known. Um, but, you know, not too difficult. And I don't think there was too much too technical there. The hardest part is probably just being able to read, you know, through these through these and being a little practiced at that. But if you do it a few times, you'll be good. So, mm -hmm. and uh, we are looking for ways to get more listings. And I think playing off this idea, echoing what's in the news and the threat that a bubble could pop like it did in 2008 um, is might be interesting messaging right now. Just, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of thoughts there. Yeah, I mean, it's happened before. A lot of people live through that. They know their houses are overvalued. They might be, um, you know, they, they might realize that, that that equity they have now, they might want to sell out, take it and go rent somewhere or move to another market where homes are cheaper, you know, and use that equity uh, to make their next move. So we'll see how it goes. Any questions, guys? Uh, I haven't seen any new questions. Again, if you're if you're newer to the Mastermind and Success Strategies webinars, you can always access links to view those and you know join us via your TV Core training calendar at the top right hand side of your dashboard. I'm also dropping links in for folks. So if you are interested in checking it out for free for seven days, just click the link in my latest post I'm about to drop, and then you'll be able to join the group for free uh, and check it out. And then you can, uh, you know, leave it any time if you like. But we we fill all sorts of amazing content in here, and I really feel that um, 
Yeah. There's so many opportunities. I can't even begin to think of all of them that we've posted. If you are, if you are a do-it-yourselfer or you just want to know how to do this stuff, I think we've got a lot in here for you. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the template, like the bubble video, you, you're welcome to just use that. We have a number of things like that in here, for example, like these videos and slide templates. Yeah, I was looking at the templates and stats things earlier, and like, I think they're being used 70 to 80% of the time. So I really encourage all of you to take a moment and give this section another look, because yeah. it is chock full of amazing content that you can grab and go forward with today. For sure. And then if you are creating anything, I should create a bounty because I'm creating a lot of these as we go. But anybody who's creating stuff that you think can be reused by other members, definitely let us know. I can figure out some way to reward <laughs> for that. Right. It, it is valuable. If you're doing something that's working and you want to share it, uh, we do want to incentivize that. So don't be shy. Uh, so the, the, last, the last thing I would do here, we've done this a lot, is I would just take the same video and run a Facebook ad. Um, can also run a Pinterest, also run a Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know, should, I guess we have time. If nobody's asking questions, I can run that on Facebook really quick. Um, I don't see any questions in group or YouTube. I see Mohammed's out there. He's going to join us next time. Hi, Mohammed. He's on YouTube right now. Cool. I don't see any new questions from our chat for the group. So let's go for it. Cool. I think I went to the wrong account here. Um, what? That never happens. Never. Mm -mm. A little dizzy. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Uh, again, there's that open house list campaign uh, performing really well. Let's do the lifetime on that. I like to update everybody on how it's doing. Yeah, 238. Look, it's 238 lifetime and the waterfront is 238 lifetime. Um, Dang. Another thing uh, that I think is interesting, I was looking through the 29 open house list leads that we've generated in the last week. A handful of them actually have the waterfront hashtag too. Huh. So the same. Interesting. Well, Facebook's showing the ads to the same people because they think they're interested in, in the content. Mm -hmm. um, so it, um, the, if you're running multiple niches, it almost functions as retargeting, like you're a multi-channel. You're hitting them from another angle. Um, yeah. And some people will re-opt in to, to your fold. So That cost per result is pretty groovy. Yeah, pretty good. I, I know people get less. Um, I've seen less. You, you can get under a dollar. Uh, I think I think part of the trick there is just refining them down. And I don't have a lot of time to. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, most of these we're running one time. We're going with the first ad creative we do. If I wanted to get this price down, I'd go and write five different ad variations. And one of them mm -hmm. would come in like a dollar ninety, you know, and then then it can then test a few more against that. All right. Let's create this. Let's create this quick video ad. Uh, I'm going to click create ad. I'm just going to use, I could use traffic or video views. Um, we'll go with video views. I think basically what Facebook does, is it just tries to get people who will watch the video all the way through. Right. Um, either way, I can put a link and send people over to the landing page. So they're both fine. So I'll hit continue. Bubble. Bubble seller. We do need our special category for housing. Like so. I'm glad you point that out because I think people still aren't used to that new process in Facebook. So it's always good to remind about that. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm doing daily budget of 10 bucks. And then uh, oh, just uh, Pinellas, just my county. And then on locations, I'm just scrolling down here. People living in this location because I want homeowners. We'll do Pinellas. People living in. Um, no, you could do this to, to custom audiences too. So I can say I also want to hit some of the people who have inter interacted with my other ads or my other audiences in the past. Mm -hmm. Like here's one visited my cell page. So That'd be a good one. Yeah. So we'll run it to everybody and visited cell page. Actually, I made a mistake, guys. I really apologize. You would want to do that in a separate ad set because it's only going to show to those people. I had a little brain fart there. So it's, it, yeah, you, if you choose a custom audience, it's only going to show those people. I want this to run broad, but no, you could go back and do another ad set, duplicate it when you're done, and then only show it to specific custom audiences. You kind of just need to separate them out. So then you just have two ads or more depending on your audiences. Yeah, yeah. You just, you, you have two ad sets each with a different target, yep. but you have the same ad inside. Gotcha. Um, I can show that once we once we're done doing this one, I'll just go back and duplicate it and show you. So, um, so we're talking to everybody in Pinellas County. Everything else I can leave. Automatic placements is fine. Uh, we'll use the linked Instagram account. 
and then we're going to add a video right up here. Here's where we're going to upload it. Before the bubble bursts. Before the bubble pops. Um, if you are now probably the best thing I could do is take all the text from this ad and just make that the ad, the exact mm -hmm. thing they're going to, they're going to see in the video. So if you make your work work for you more than once. Yep. If you are thinking that, and we like the ad to match what they're, you know, the message. So if you were thinking local Canales real estate. Considering selling your accounts, the link to the process, something like that. I could also do no text and then. <laughs> sell your house before and uh it is important when you're doing a video view i do need to add a website url manually right here um sell your bubble tops now what i've found i don't know if anybody else here has been running these like home valuation type ads lots of comments happening now people are like yeah everything's so expensive wow my house mm -hmm. you know so this is probably gonna get a lot of engagement because people are like yeah it's crazy you know they're, they're gonna really pile on with this kind of negative, people on Facebook like negativity. So, uh, and there is a little bit of negativity in this ad. <laughs> you know, something bad might happen. It's a little, it's, it's, it's based on fear. Um, so but that's okay. You know, that kind of, th that kind of engagement is good as long as it's not too bad. And against Facebook's terms, it is good for your ad because it, it could go viral. It, it could get, the algorithm might reward it if it's getting a lot of engagement. So that's it. If you're like thinking that uh, last thing I'll do is I could change the thumbnail on the video, you know, every little bit counts. So I might go that thumbnail. Uh, let's use that one. The shiny bubble. This is just the image it shows before. Please. Memory image for a listing. Yep. And that's it. And now, you know, we've got an ad running on Facebook to local homeowners. Uh, it's running on Google, YouTube too. Maybe they'll see it both places and they'll be like, wow, these guys are really top of their stuff. And we're driving on through to that address only capture page. The only thing that I would do probably to make this perform better, uh, but I didn't want to overcomplicate it today, would be to do a video on the landing, like a landing page with a video where I talk more about the values. Like, hey, take a look at these charts, you know, uh, mm -hmm. year over year, we're up 63%. Um, you know, when it, back in 2008, everything crashed, a lot of people lost all that equity. It just evaporated overnight, you know? Um, so you could do, a, get a little more, um, put a little, your pedal to the metal, a little more on the messaging before you ask them to opt in. But, uh, for now we're just taking them to that simple landing page where they just pop their, their info in and generate the lead. So yeah, that's that for today. Hopefully this is useful for everybody. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll definitely be letting you know how it performs over the coming days. So any other questions or comments? Somebody let me know that this was good or not. Fishing for uh, feedback. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, you know, if you guys could let us know, like if, if items like this help um, or what might help, that would be great just to get some interaction from everybody. And I think Ryan, I'd love to be able to get access so we can create some polls as well, because I think that would be a useful tool. Oh, I forgot. Because I can't access those on my Aren't side. Aren't you co-host? Yeah, but I can't. I, I'm not a co-a user of your account. I'm not signed in as you, so I can't do it. That's that's a bummer. We'll have to yeah, figure no. that out. I don't know. Let's do a poll. I'm gonna do one. Ready? Yep. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Ask a question. Will okay. Will the bubble pop? Oh. Can you guys see me typing? <laughs> yes. The poll. Yes. Oh, I don't want it. Where is it? <laughs> you guys see it? Let's I'm here for a second. There we go. All right. Really? Abel's like, this was awesome. 
Uh, cool. I need to rewatch it though. Yes, yeah, for sure. And then Rob, this is good. I like the video ad idea. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's just some different ways of approaching folks, and I hope it gives you all some ideas. And I'm waiting with anticipation here on this poll. My day's not complete until I'm speechless by Ryan, at least once or twice a day. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, this is my first time doing a poll live, so bear with mm -hmm. me, Dave. If I just do that, will it come up? Launch polling, I think. Here you go. Will you try the bubble pop funnel? Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that. All right, we're just gonna Bubble give you a going. What bubble? Who did that? Bubble. Who did that bubble? No, that's true. Maybe, maybe, I mean, if you didn't really agree it was in a bubble and yeah. you didn't want to be advancing that message in your marketplace, I could totally understand that. that, that yeah. That'd be a good I reason. think if there's people out there who, who are hesitant or like who are like thinking about it in your market, though, that would be a good way to grab them, even though it's not on your radar. Yeah. You know, th these polls are an interesting little piece of marketing because oh, they're I great. Know, yeah, because and if somebody's not really plugged in or they walk away from the computer, you can have a message sitting on their computer right there. It's interesting. Yeah, I would like to build a bunch of these because you yeah. can have them saved. And like for anybody who's using Zoom and you've got the webinar access, you can build these, you know, surveys in. So if you're doing something on first time homeowner, homeowners or, you know, Zoom meetings with your contacts, then this would be a really good tool to use to get their, you know, gauge where they are. Yeah. Yeah, we have content in Next Level about doing webinars like this one. Um, mm -hmm. Probably the most powerful thing you can do because it's a combination of video, delivering content. You generate the lead when a person registers for the webinar. You don't even need to really think about you know, a landing page or anything because you just use Zoom to generate the lead. You push the lead right. into the core. Um, yeah, so Cool. All right. Well, thanks for replying to that, guys. I don't have much else today. If there aren't any questions or anything else that people want us to explore, uh, just give you guys a minute. Yeah. Well, tomorrow we're going to have a guest, uh, Blaine Cruz. He's an agent who he's been around with us since the conversion days, which is crazy to think about. Uh, so we've got the K plus user now using KV core, looking to get into more video and things. So it'd be great to kind of talk with him and his goals. And then yeah. Thursday, all of you will be able to sit in with uh, Kelly Bojarski and myself. Kelly's a, another senior trainer who is like amazing. That's only, that's like the word I can always think of her. She's just amazing. So she'll, she'll be on the line with us. And we're going to try to go over uh, everything new that's come out in the last little while to make sure you're all aware of what it is, how to leverage it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yep. So the re replay will be up soon. Uh, and for anybody else, you know, we're gonna have Blaine on tomorrow. We had uh, Damien on a few weeks ago. Anybody mm -hmm. else who just wants to come on to one of these sessions and talk about your business, uh, just let us know. Uh, maybe chat in the mastermind room and just say, yeah, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to come on one week and we could take a look at what you're doing, whether it's something that is really performing well for you, or you just want Annalise and I to just dig in on something you're doing that might not be working well. Uh, just let us know. Yeah. Happy to do that. And that reminds me, I was also looking at like the stats of who's been looking at what to try to see if there are people that really tie into what you just brought up. Like, who can I reach out to to be like, hey, how is that working? I noticed you popped into this. What's going on? So awesome. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the same time, 4 p.m. East. Thanks, Ray.